They say money can buy happiness, but can it buy friendship? In order to find answers, I posted an ad on Craigslist seeking someone that I would pay to be my BFF while testing their skills as the ultimate friend. This is the story of how I bought a friend off Craigslist. I am being paid to be somebody's best friend. Seems interesting. I guess. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm excited. My hope is that even though I'm buying your friendship today, that that's just an investment and that it will be as valuable, if not more so, than a real genuine friendship. Yeah, no, same. Do you think you're a good friend? I would say so, yeah, I hope so. Why do you think you'll be a good friend to me specifically? I'm very blunt. If you're like doing something weird with somebody and I'm like, oh man, like chill, like don't do that. As your friend, I'm going to look out for your best needs. I'm going to show you love, and I want you to show me love. Okay. Do you I, think you're up for the task? I, I, yeah, I think I'm up for this task. There are many variables when it comes to friendship, but I want to highlight three very important things to me. Yeah. Loyalty. I don't want you sleeping with anyone I'm dating. Yeah. I don't want you coming Honestly. after my family. Secondly, honesty. I tell you you look good in a shirt, I'm being honest. You, what, you said I... I said, that's a nice shirt. It's great, $24.99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great value. Yeah. Lastly, I want you to stand up for me, yeah. okay? If, if someone's coming up and, and wants to stab me, yeah. I expect you to take the knife. If we accidentally do kill him, we're hiding that murder, though. If we kill someone, we are reporting to the police because it is against the law to murder someone. Right. Did Ahmed even have what it takes to be my best friend? I decided to get to know him a little better before I tested his skills. What's your favorite holiday? Well, my family's Muslim, so we have like a big Eid and a small Eid. Oh. They're both okay. pretty poppin'. How about you? What's your... I love Christmas. Yeah, it's a classic. I feel people are just generally kinder during the holidays. What's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you in college? One time, <laughs> I got all my food in the dining hall and I trip over a flat surface and oh my God. it spills everywhere and I'm like on the ground Food everywhere after I just finished paying. Um, it seemed to be fun, but I still wasn't convinced he was best friend material. Friendship is about good times and bad times. My first test for Ahmed was to see if he could be vulnerable with me. My last serious relationship was uh, about two years ago. The thing that sticks to me about that relationship is the way it ended. It didn't end in a, some dramatic blowout. There was no screaming or yelling. It just, life happened and you know, it just ended. You spend two years with someone and it's just, sometimes it's just, it's sad to, to look back and uh, think about, you know, what, what could have been. That's the way life goes, you know? Things that bring you down can bring you to a different direction. Here's to that. Here's, Here's to that. that. How about you, do you have anything you wanna share? All right, there was like a hard time in my life where um, I was in junior in college. In my family, it's like, you know, it's, there's a lot of pressure to get like good grades and like to do well in school. And I was supposed to do this like fast track program that my university had. I had like studied and I'd taken practice tests and you have to score like a 650. And at the same time, I was also applying to be an RA. I took the test and had like my final interview for RA all in the same week. So I finished the exam and scored like a 540. Later that evening, I found out I got rejected from the RA program as well. I had like called my mom right afterwards to like tell her both bad news at the same time, I guess, to kind of like rip the band-aid off. And she didn't know this, but I was like low-key crying on the phone. And I was like, and I was like holding the phone away from me because it was hurting so much. And I was like, God damn, I just like screwed up big. Some things just don't happen for a reason. And then sometimes better things will come. For the next test, I organized for a coworker to run into our set and start bullying me. My hope was that Ahmed would step up and defend my honor. Oh, like shit. at bars or something. Well, did you tell me a story about one of those times? Yeah. Um... Hey, did you hear the news? <laughs> uh, no. Someone told me about your video idea. I think it's awful. He just came out of nowhere. I was actually genuinely unsure what that was. I'm sorry, man. I'm oh. actually not that sorry. I waited for Ahmed with bated breath. If he couldn't stand up for me, uh, our entire friendship could crumble. Wow. Hold on, Let's go. this is my friend you're talking to, so if you could, if you could not, that'd be, that'd be great. He is my friend for life right here, and he's a great person, and his video idea was phenomenal, because look how great of friends we are. I was like, I don't think this kid's gonna pull a knife, but it's like, pretty close, pretty close. It's getting oddly aggressive. What you did just now, I'm never gonna forget that. Of course. You know what? I mean, it's pretty, 
I decided to send him on one final mission to determine it all. I wanted Ahmed to know me well enough on a best friend level to buy me a personalized gift. Earlier today, we talked about the triumvirate. Honesty, loyalty, and whether or not you stand up for your friends. I will be evaluating you on those three qualities. When it came to honesty, we had a very intimate moment in the pop-up park. And I genuinely was very moved by the story you told about the hardship you went through in college because we connected on a level that not a lot of friends do. You gave me an A+. Plus. Yeah. Yes, right here. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Still, uh, more, okay. still all right. more to come. Loyalty. Loyalty is a very important trait in a relationship. And today, we built loyalty through the times we shared together. I will give you a B plus. I'll take it. I'll take it. Standing up for each other. Today, I was viciously attacked. He attacked me with his words for a good solid 15 seconds before you said anything. So for that, I will give you an A minus. Okay, wow, Whew. I believe the last thing that I can evaluate you on is the gift that you bought me. That's true. Should you, you close, close your eyes? Yeah, close, close your eyes, close your eyes, okay. All righty, open them up. You said you love Christmas so much. I decided to bring Christmas to you. Oh my <laughs> God, Ahmed. I, you should I, have. I had to. <laughs> you were very passionate about Christmas, and I saw that in the store and just like knew it. I think that when people hear that I was paying you to yeah. be my best friend for a day, they probably thought I was crazy. But I honestly think that today we've built a good chemistry. I think that there is something here, and I mean, I don't know what you're doing this weekend, but. Friday, I'm going to a Halloween party. Are you? Yes, if you would like to come with. You know what? That sounds like a plan. And just to make it clear, on yeah. Friday, when we hang out as friends, I will not be paying you. And I'm very excited. Ahmed was the best friend I could have paid for. We even did a best friend photo shoot to end the day. He was truly someone I'll never forget. If we had met at like a house party or something like that, there's like no doubt we would have like ended up talking and talking about like all this random that we both like.